what's up you guys i am using the brother sq9285 this is the manual this machine can do a lot of things it is a computerized machine and i'm going to go through the whole entire manual with you and we're going to use everything that's in this book i have not used everything in the book that this machine can do but we're going to go through the manual page by page and we're going to see what the machine can do so we're going to use everything that it has this machine came with 10 feet and the one that i'm interested in using the most is the walking foot because i have some leather and i also have some pleathers and i'm going to, want to make me an ob belt so i saw the ob belt from with mimi g and I believe she has a pattern for it. I may have to purchase it, so I have to go see. Because she had one before many years ago, but I think she had revised it, and it may be in her sewing studio class. So I may have to purchase it first. But we are going to be making an OB belt. So when you first go through the manual, you can see all the pages that tells you where to go according to whatever it is that you're working on um the button the button foot is another feature that i'm looking forward to working on because i have the mimi g pattern to make blue jeans i just haven't found my blue jean material yet where i live there isn't a fabric store so um I have to get my fabric when I go out of town, like at Joann's and stuff. And they didn't have any when I went the last time. I want some black denim and I want some dark, dark blue jean, den stretch denim. So I may have to order it. I may have to get on line and order it. So these are just, the in the front of the, the manual, it's showing you how to operate it. I will do some operation videos. They're going to be very short and to the point because it's if you already know how to use a mush, mush, uh, a sewing machine then you should be okay but i'm specifically doing this for people who do not know how to they know how to use a regular sewing machine but not this sewing machine or they don't know how to use one at all okay so the first feature in the manual is it's just Really, it's just the operation. So, let's just go back to the front. Here it shows you all your feet and things like that. So, matter of fact, let's just do this. It's showing you here what these feet do and what's, and it also shows you in the manual what stitch goes with those feet, okay? On this page here, it has the pieces to the walking foot and the walking foot. I mean, not the walking foot, but the, um, yeah, that's the walking foot. Because I thought it was the side cutting foot because it also looks like that when it goes up and down like that little hand, but it's not. It's actually the walking foot. Okay, operations, needle and press the foot section is just, it's going to be your next page. And we are on page nine. Okay, so I'm just going to go through, I'm going to make a, a lot of short videos going over all the steps on what you need to do. So I believe that our first thing that we're going to go through is going to be the accessories compartment and I'm going to go through this entire manual okay so as we get further down into some of the feet that we're going to that we're working with because I'm going to work with each one of these feet and I've already worked with most of them there's a few that I haven't but most of them I already have when we get to the part of the zigzag uh stitch because any of the feet you can use this zigzag stitch but some of them you should not when we get to the zigzag stitch, I'm going to show you how to overlock your edge if you don't have an overlock machine or a serger. I'm, a, I'm going to show you how to get the same effect 
with a sewing machine, you can you can seal your edges with the zigzag stitch, okay? So I'm just gonna go through here because I really don't look at the manual much unless I have a problem. And it's just showing you basically how to use the sewing machine. But for those that are beginners who just bought the machine and they you don't know where to start, I'm gonna go from the beginning to the end, okay? So, my next video is going to be on the using your compartment uh, accessory holder. It's super simple, so I'm going to mix that with, this is the accessories compartment. I'm going to read all of this to you, then we're, I'm going to show you how to use it, and then we will go with... I will explain all of these sections here about the parts, where they are. This is going to be the main parts, the needle and the press of foot section, and the operations buttons, okay? The operations buttons are the buttons that are on the face of the machine, okay? It's going to be the operation panel. I'm going to show you how to use that. And then it's going to be the... Um, the spool pen. I'll do all of those in one video so the video won't be long. But if it starts to get long, then I'm going to section it up because I really just want my videos to be under five minutes. Really three. So three is my goal. Here is where you see all your stitches to do the monogramming, the utility stitches, the satin stitch when you're working with satin and stuff like that. Um, you definitely want to use that stitch and you want to slow the machine down because I, I did work with some satin and it sheds really bad and it filled the machine up. If you see my cleaning video where I'm talking about the blue fibers, it's from satin. So it's from me using satin. Someone requested a satin, uh, um, chintai wrap, hair wrap, and it shed it a lot and it, I had to clean my machine. Um, it was time to anyway, though. The spool pen. Okay. We're going to talk about the spool pen because I want you guys to pay attention in that video because it's also going to be the video where I'm using the twin needle. Now, we're going to make a dress with the twin needle. I have a lot of fabric that uh, is a, that are knits that we make, that we... The dresses are made out of sundresses, body cons, midis, minis, but it's the stretch. Any stretch material that stretches is going to be called, well, not any material that stretches, but the material that stretches like a t-shirt is called a knit. It's not, most of the time we think, we hear knitting, we're thinking of yarn, where they're knitting with the crochet needle. Not that. There's a two-way stretch. There's a semi-stretch, there's a four-way stretch, and that would be normally like the little summer dresses that we wear that stretch a lot. The stretch. So, those are called knits. And because this is right here, well, I'm going to also, so my videos are going to start from the beginning to page 12. This is about the, um, the flip chart. So, that is up at the top. The, there's a little panel that flips up and that is where your monogramming is, your letters and how to put them in. I did try to work with the, um, I did try to work with the monogramming stitches. And the thing about the monogramming is, it's, it's, it comes out very small. There is no way to increase the size. So it's about an five eighths of an inch or yeah, I believe it's less than that. It's not even that big. So, but what I'm going to do is when I print, when I stitch, when we get to the monogramming part, I'm going to put a space in between each one of my letters just to see if that kind of helps because it seems that it always bunches up depending on what letter it's using. And I, and I've done it before. It did print out one three letter name, but it was in the end, it bunched it all up. So I'm going to have to work with that monogramming those monogramming stitches before I do um, the video on that. The one we're going to focus on the most is just um, the regular 
stitching and needle and then the twin needle because that's something that I've been wanting to work with. Okay, so this is the Brother SQ9285 manual. And from today forward, I will be doing videos on this manual. Um, and I will also be doing reels on my Facebook page. So, you may have to go to my Facebook page to see them. They will be public. Although my page is private, the videos will be public, okay? Happy sewing. Okay, you guys, this is the panel that flips up that shows you where the monogramming stitches are and the ladderings that you'll use. And there is a specific way that you have to program these ladders into the machine. You're going to be programming them into the machine by numbers here. So this is where you'll be using this panel here to program those stitches in. Okay, so like stitch A is zero 01. So that's what you'll be putting in. You'll go, and that will be the number, the, the letter A. But as we get into the monogramming video, it'll be more specific, showing you exactly how to put those letters in. And from that point, all you do is line up the fabric in the way that you want the name or the words to be placed on the fabric. And then you'll press the presser foot, okay?